Hello, my name is Louise Hefez. I am part of the Dermatology Department of the Hôpital Henri Mondor, situated in Créteil, near Paris, in France. Our research team has conducted a prospective study on post-traumatic stress disorder amongst patients with epidermal necrolysis, comprising toxic epidermal necrolysis and Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Why did we do this study? We know that epidermal necrolysis has very severe long-term somatic consequences, but most clinicians are maybe less aware of the psychological complications on the long term. We therefore conducted a monocentric prospective study in our dermatology department, which is a reference center for toxic bullous diseases. We included 32 patients in between June 2009 and February 2013. Our main objective was to assess the prevalence of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, at six months after the acute phase. All patients were evaluated by a psychologist or a psychiatrist at the acute phase and then at two, six and 12 months. The PTSD syndrome was diagnosed with a score, PTSD checklist score, above 244. We found a prevalence of 23% of PTSD at six months after the acute phase. Our secondary objectives were to look for risk factors of PTSD among our patients. We found that psychological score, such as the peritraumatic dissociative experience score were risk factors of PTSD. We did not find other risk factors such as age, sex, or body surface area involved. A very important point in this study is that three patients who had not been diagnosed with PTSD at two and six months after the acute phase have been diagnosed with PTSD 12 months after the acute phase. This enhances the most important point in this study, the need for a long-term psychological follow-up of our patients with epidermal necrolysis. Our study also points out that we need to find more effective methods to help our patients with post-traumatic stress.